Hello there guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, you are very welcome to the channel Delboy177. If you're not a subscriber already, why not hit that subscribe button because that's what it's there for and keep in tune with my pretty decent content, alright? Anyway guys, on the back of the Fallout 4 announcement trailer, I decided to get back into Fallout New Vegas in a big way and I thought, you know what, the last build that I'm yet to fully bring to fruition is unarmed. I've never attempted an unarmed build in any Bethesda title in any RPG given given that fact. So I thought, fuck it, I'll make a build, play it out and if it proves out I'll make a video on it. So here we go. I have Raul and Rex with me and that is not because I depend on them as such. I just happen to have come across them at the time and I've been doing the quests with the Kings. So I got Rex naturally and I got Raul naturally and I thought fuck it why not make things a little bit easier for myself and speed up the process of leveling just a touch. So we're here outside in Nellis Air Force Base I'm just doing some quests with the Boomers but I'll give you the skinny on the build because that's kind of where the meat and potatoes of, of this video are going to lie. Okay, so I did join the Brotherhood and I did their quests to receive the Power Armor training and I got the uh, Brotherhood Power Armor. And with Raoul's perk, your weapons and armor degrade slowly. So you don't have to repair them as often. So that's one really good aspect of Raoul's build. Plus, with this build, because I'm a tank in close, close range, up in your grill kind of character and I'm hoping to take all the flak uh, and be up in the mix. Raul stays at a nice medium range with his revolver and does damage there and Rex is kind of a, a kind of a tank that I have to look after to be honest because this is hard difficulty I play on and hardcore mode so Rex can get taken out of the equation pretty handily I find be not not really because of his HP but because I'm preoccupied and he just tends to get himself killed by numerous different enemies at any one time whatever anyway guys so that is my armor weapons ballistic fist I think I could be totally mistaken, but these didn't pop up in people's inventories, merchants' inventories, until I was a certain level. It could have been level, what am I now? Level 19. It could have been around level 14. Something like that, kind of mid-level. Uh, sometimes the merchants switch up their inventory, but I had a lot of trouble getting a ballistic fist. But this is pretty much my end game weapon. As long as I keep it maintained, it is fucking powerful, man. You know, Bethesda have to tip me hat off to them. They didn't just have to do any one aspect of a build. They totally catered for everyone's type of play style. I've played numerous different types of builds, even speech-based builds. And just the perks all make sense. The weapons all make sense. Armor makes sense. The followers make sense. Everything just slots in perfectly. And it's a credit to Bethesda. Because there's not one thing that's just totally OP. Uh, and there's not one thing that's totally neglected. Everything is catered for equally. So Ballistic Fist, there you go. Armor. Um, and all my aid items and such. One thing that's great about this build, you don't need weapons. I just carry a plasma rifle as a backup. Everything else here is to be uh, sold. To be honest with you, I don't need any of this shit apart from the Power Fist as just a backup. So Power Fist and Ballistic Fist and Plasma Rifle, everything else is surplus. Which means I have a lot of money at any one time. So it means I can sell all my ammo, which saves on weight as well. Lest we forget, ammo weighs quite a bit in this game when you're playing on hardcore mode. So let's have a look at our special attributes. Strength is at 10. And I did buy the chip implant from the medical clinic, the New Vegas clinic, and uh, that upped my strength. And then I put a little bit more into it with the intense training perk. And I think the armor gives you plus one strength, yeah. So that hovers me at 10 strength, which gives me maximum carrying capacity for hauling out gear to sell. Hopefully this all makes sense in a minute why barter is such an important aspect of this build endurance is at nine endurance very cleverly governs not only your uh, health 
and your, your kind of resistance to, to damage and your ability to survive in the waste but it also governs your unarmed skill so by just pumping everything into endurance at the start you already have everything you need for a good unarmed build it's absolutely bulletproof it's foolproof charisma is at six there is something giving me a boost to charisma it's the helmet yeah, it's a nice touch actually that the helmet gives you charisma because it's a it's a cool looking helmet so people tend to like it i'm guessing yeah but yeah that was at five looking back i should have taken one or two out of charisma and put it into endurance from the get-go and um strength so i'm actually at 10 endurance there it's just the fact that my h2o withdrawal or h2o dehydration is taking away from endurance which actually makes it a little bit challenging when you're playing a melee build because your job is to take damage up close and deal damage up close you're taking a lot of hits and if your endurance is in the negative uh, you're going to get damaged a lot easier so you know it adds to the challenge and i like that to be honest but yeah charisma could have done with one or two taken out of it it wasn't a really a, an important attribute to this build intelligence always put intelligence up and that's being uh take subtracted from by uh, medics withdrawal but i've nine intelligence usually always put a good few into intelligence if you can agility and luck i was gonna put one or two into luck but i never get around to it agility was just at five and that's being taken away by medics withdrawal as well but um yeah looking back i could have taken two off charisma and put them either into strength endurance or intelligence uh, i'll put up the algorithm there's actually a physical fucking equation to work out your unarmed skill and how much damage you do with your un unarmed and luck is actually a factor in that it's actually your luck over two so if i have six luck divide that by two and it adds three onto my total ability with unarmed i'm not sure the ins and out of its outs of it i don't have it fucking memorized like but um yeah luck do definitely does play a part but as i say i never get around to fucking leveling it up my skills unarmed is at 100 usually i really have to fucking sort these withdrawals out and dehydration but anyway uh, unarmed is a major skill repair is also a major skill because i want to be able to repair the power fist and the ballistic fist to the best of my possible ability medicine i would consider a major skill and lockpick so you have four major skills there all right and barter as well it, i would consider an important aspect of this build right you have one method of attack one method of defense that is my dogma for rpg games and my method of attack as i say is unarmed it's as simple as that as soon as i get a power fist or a ballistic fist i'm good to go and bulletproof my methods of defense there's no armor based skill in this game that you can level up unlike oblivion or skyrim so you have to think around your armor basically you avoid armor and put your mind into the other aspects of your game what are you going to be good at that can possibly help you avoid damage rather than being able to just take it so medicine helps you recuperate from damage as does survival help you recuperate from damage so they i would consider forms of defense speech is actually a form of defense as well speech can actually get you to the fucking end of the game pretty much fucking scot-free and it's a good way of getting xp because when you pass speech prompts you'll get xp uh, sneak i would consider a good method of defense science not really repair not really um what else barter this is where kind of my little twist comes in on it barter i'm considering a form of defense because it allows me to offload all my excess you know the way i have a lot of excess ammo and guns i can offload them at a good price and buy all the drugs and food and water that i need so barter enables me to buy medicine so that in turn becomes a method of defense as well and i suppose as well you could argue that lockpick or science 
could technically be forms of defense because if you can lock pick and science your way through areas to get good loot it could technically be a form of defense but i don't regard them as that and um, what else perks the perks are just so spot on in this game for for every aspect of a build subdermal armor is a um it is the uh, implant which gives me plus four damage threshold which is absolutely essential increased strength so that circumvented me having to use intense training another time uh, search and mark that's just the perk you get with rex regular maintenance you get with rahul which keeps your weapon and armor condition on on point purifier is a unarmed and melee perk you do plus 50 damage to night stalkers plus 50 percent damage to night stalkers death claws super mutants all the ghoul ghouly creeps of the wasteland you'll do plus 50 percent so it is a perk that will send you on your way it's an absolute beaut power armor training piercing strike another unarmed one um, negates 15 points of damage threshold so this would also work on uh, death claws because they do have quite a high damage threshold um, you gain a damage bonus against everything right lord of death intense training <coughs> would you believe I took seven times which was a bit of a boo-boo on my account if I had have done it right the fourth time as I say and took maybe two points off charisma and put them into endurance and strength I could have hauled a lot more gear would have been more effective arguably with hand to hand and uh, would have been able to sell a lot more items and bought a lot more medicine but what I ended up doing was just taking the shortcut and going with intense training what I should have done was as I said carry out through the game without charisma and just made it to the medical clinic with whatever money I had and bought implants that I wanted because that would have allowed me to pick other cool perks whereas intense training is kind of a, a slightly dead perk but it, I couldn't have made it this far without it saying that like I wouldn't really regret say I regret taking intense training that many times but I'm just saying there's other ways I could have done it day tripper you've done enough cams to know how to hang on to the effect a while longer i have found myself using cams a lot in this build so my next level up might uh, kind of consist of me taking another cam based perk if it's available camel of the mojave blah 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 anyway guys that is the crux of this build i'll see if there is anywhere for us to pillage really quick and um, the fields shack there's Raoul's shack i think out this way towards this brotherhood of steel safe house there may or may not be a couple of death claws now rex could perish Raoul could perish and i could most certainly perish but i think out of everyone i'd have the best chance to take at least one death claw out of the game 